Hi everyone, it's Karen Redman, the Mayor of the Town of Gawler, and we're at the pool today, the Gawler Aquatic Centre as it's officially known, but most of us know this great facility as the pool. And it's about to undergo a redevelopment, particularly around the change rooms, which many of you will be really, really pleased to hear. And I use the pool as well, so I can't wait to, to see the finished product. It's my pleasure today to welcome Wendy. Wendy's one of our great engineers at the town of Gawler and also Leanne from Mossops who, um, who are doing the project for us. So welcome, welcome Thank you. ladies. So Wendy, as the project lead uh, for this redevelopment, what does it mean? What, what are we going to get? All right, the first and main thing we're doing is creating a lovely new change room facility for all the wonderful people who use this pool. So like many people around here, I've been using these pools for several decades and it is so wonderful to know that we're gonna have some new comfortable change rooms, underfloor heating, bright, colorful, something really inviting for you to bring your families and get changed. We're gonna have new family friendly facilities, rooms especially for families with young children and importantly we're going to have new accessible features that brings us up with the DDA standards. So I'm really interested because when I saw I got to see the all the plans and the underfloor heating I thought oh wow that who came up with it? it's such a good idea because we've got lots of lots of like you said young families but we've also got older people and people in between that you get out of the pool you get a bit cold then you go into the frankly, 1962, These, it was great in 1962, you know, and we all love our pool, but let's face it, when you go into the change rooms, it is a little bit challenging and it's freezing cold. So who came up with such a good idea? Well, as we were thinking about what the scope for this project was, we recognised we've got this fantastic heated pool, but like you said, Mayor, we get out and we're freezing, especially in the early season and the later part of the season. Going into a change room that is cold with a wet floor, that's not really very inviting. So we looked at what the options for heating the rooms were and underfloor heating has a number of positive aspects. Not only does it keep the floor warm and the room warm, it also helps with maintenance issues. I just, I was blown away by that. Something really simple like that, I hadn't, I hadn't even appreciated. But this is what happens when you get really clever people like yourself, Wendy, that get together with other clever people in council and you come up with these great ideas. And, and so now, We've got this, well, ooh, we've got a sneak peek, look, colour, colour, beautiful tiles, practical, heated, accessible, so thank you Wendy, I'm going to go across to Leanne now, hello Leanne, hi, how, how are, are you? you, I'm good, how are you, yeah, good, thank you, so Leanne is in charge of the project on behalf of Blossom Constructions and also Design, and you guys have come up and worked with the officers around this, can you walk us through, just, just, you know, why are you so excited and why you came up with this particular design? Well, I would uh, I would actually give a lot of credit to the architect that put this together. We're here to deliver, deliver this design and work with the council to deliver that design. Looking at these pictures, it is inspiring. It offers a lot more to the space that's inside and a lot more to the community. So, and, looking forward. And when we were talking before, you, you described, and I think you did too, Wendy, just what we have here at this facility. It's an outdoor facility. And lots of people go, oh, let's just build an indoor facility. But when you have an outdoor facility, you've got the best of both worlds. You've got a heated pool. You And I know, I've swum on this pool. I used to do competitive swimming, and I know that, I know that pool really well. <laughs> and when you swim in this pool in the morning, you look up and see these beautiful gum trees, and you go, oh my gosh, it's just, it just sets you up the day and that natural landscape is actually quite important for your mental yeah. health and well-being. Absolutely. You, you mentioned that didn't you? you yeah. Know, that Absolutely. Being comfortable in a space and enjoying that space inside and outside is very important. Design of space has a huge impact to people's mental health and well-being. So I could only imagine swimming up and down the pool and, and having that natural surrounding around and then having the comfort of fresh new facilities inside. So I Thank you so much for explaining all of that and hopefully uh, everyone listening and watching today um, you know, gets a bit of an insight. So we're just at the beginning of this project. It's so exciting. We will be giving you an update in the middle of the project and then of course at the end when it's all 
brand spanking and sparkling and like Wendy said really really exciting um, it will be transformed but you won't lose the character that is our beautiful Paul so Natasha, I'd like to welcome you to our video updates. <laughs> Natasha is in charge of our beautiful pool and I thought we'd just have a bit of a chat about uh, the redevelopment. Um, we've had a chat with the engineers and, mm -hmm. and, the, and the construction company, Mosser, but I might just touch base on the fact that we've received federal government funding. Okay. Uh, do, uh, do you want to talk a little bit about that? Okay, thank you Mayor Redmond, thank you for inviting me today. Um, my name is Natasha and I am um, responsible for the operation of the facility with some great staff um, and a wonderful team that puts this uh, facility together every season. Um, we are lucky enough to be having this upgrade project uh, with some federal funding and obviously some money from council as well. So we're extremely lucky um, that, that um, to be part of that. Um, so um, yes, we're looking forward to um, that's starting very soon um, and um, and being part of that. So what do you think it will do for the facility but for the people that are using this beautiful facility? Oh I think it's going to make a huge difference. We have, um, well last season we had over 21,000 people swim in the facility plus we had spectators, mums and dads and grandparents um, coming along to enjoy the facility. We have um, Department of Education doing swimming lessons plus we have Gawler Amateur Swimming Club so there's so many different groups and to have these change rooms upgraded and to have a wonderful first aid room, um, DDA compliant um, disability room, a family room, I think it's just so exciting and it's just going to be a great benefit to everybody and all groups that come. And the, under, I've talked about this before, you can hear the kookaburras there, oh, yes, they're excited yes, as well. Very much and that's so. the other thing when you come down to the pool, you hear kookaburras, you look at these it beautiful is. trees, mm -hmm. it's just it's just a stunning environment mm -hmm. and yeah I love the fact that it's in fact outside, not not for everybody but mm -hmm. I think there is something special about that. So Absolutely. we've got this, we've got this um, entrance that's we going do. to be a little bit different, what mm -hmm. do you think of that? Oh, it makes the facility look inviting, it's colourful, vibrant and it just screams exciting. So we're just so thrilled to have that colour. Um, it'll just complement all of the works that's being done and I think it'll just make the facility look wonderful from the road as well. So let everybody know that we're here. I think it's fantastic. Thank you so much for coming More along. More than welcome. Thank today, you. Natasha. And thank you everyone. Have a great day.